In this demo, I'll be using the AdventureWorks database. Here is a query on my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm using a query of two select statements in which the first select statement has a VAC clause of product ID greater than 950. The same query has been rewritten to use the having clause with the product ID of greater than 950. When I execute both these queries, I do see that I get the same result set of 14,818 for the first query. So is the case for the second query. So functionally, from a result set perspective, both my having clause and my VAC clauses have yielded the same result. And this is so true why some developers feel both behave the same. Let me just go ahead and change a few things. I have seen people telling me that, hey, if I use an aggregate function in my select statement, then the result sets cannot be same or may not be the same. So let me go ahead and change my select statement slightly wherein I'm going to add an aggregate function of sum of order quantities. Whereas the rest of the select statement remains the same. Let's see what the result sets show. In this demo, you can still see that my result set has hardly changed. Both my queries right out here are giving me the same result. So I'm getting a product ID of 950 consistently giving me on both these cases the same result set. There are minute nuances in this particular demo that should be watched out for. Let me go ahead and change this query in a slightly different fashion and show you what happens. Now here is my third query which is going to go ahead and select, do a group by and I'm saying the sum of order quantity has to be greater than 1. This query returns me some 6000 odd rows. If I go ahead and try to use an aggregate function in my VAC clause for the same query that I used in the having clause, you will see that we are getting an error. Though standard queries that use functions of filtration on the VAC clause and the having clause can be used interchangeably, you can see in the demo that when I use an aggregation clause to actually filter out data, I have to be using it in the having clause.